Hundreds of miles of Southwest Transmission Cooperative lines require constant attention. A ring of red tape marks the poles that need replacement. Termites, the weather, and... Transmission line working foreman Barry Jackson and four journeyman linemen with Arizona's Generation and Transmission Cooperatives will replace two poles here. Today, they'll turn off the power in this section. First, we have to get clearance on a line that's called de-energizing it. At the substations on each end of the section, linemen open switches and breakers to keep the current from flowing here. At Sawarita substation, Tony Ferraro speaks with dispatch and Jackson over at New Tucson substation to make sure Jeremy Fenn can safely open the switches here. Use it. It's pretty quick. Quick, because as you can see from this perspective of a GoPro camera mounted on Fenn's chest, once the line is clear, he and Henry Patricio can safely ride the bucket crane and disconnect the line from the pole. The line is then tied to another pole while they replace this one. On uh, the energized line, you can go down to three, four people. Another way, which isn't seen here, is poles can be replaced while the line is still hot or energized, which can be necessary when the grid has more demand or load. People need more power for air conditioning and other ways to beat the heat. In the summer, you can't de-energize that because we've got to feed this load and this load here and load here. Because of ACs, I guess, and all the power in the summertime. But he and his co-workers here are prepared for any task they're handed. Just got to test before you ground.